Hello YouTube, this is Asatsu5 and this is going to be a little experiment. Um, I'm going to test out the boarding capability of this rigged up, I don't know what you would call it, a final tube. All it is is a cold bowl to roll, cylinder, whatever you want to call it, and uh, or toilet paper roll. And uh, it has lint from the dryer in it, um, you know, from doing laundry. And this is what I usually use to start files, is the Skyland on fuel cell, which you can see that black spot right there, well, that's the, a piece of the fuel cell that's in these lanterns. And that's what I like to use when starting files, because they burn pretty good. And I happen to got, get a good bit of them for free, so that's what I'm using. So right now we're going to test uh, the burn time, or more or less the burning effect that each one of these products have. We want to start off with the sky lantern, and then we're going to move to the uh, uh, lint uh, roll and see how they burn. This is just kind of an experiment. I don't know what's going to happen, but I hope you enjoy it. As you can see, we're getting a pretty good burn. Um, it's it's going to burn pretty fast because uh, it has plenty of oxygen and uh, stuff. Yeah, can't speak today, but it has plenty of oxygen, airflow, and uh, these things are meant to propel a lantern up in the sky. But it has a, a good sized flame, and it's going to burn for uh, what I expect just uh, maybe a few minutes. I haven't actually ever timed one of these, but I have used this to sort files in the past, and I'm pretty happy with them. And that is the fuel cell for uh, from uh, the Sky Lantern. I'll uh, make a video. Uh, of me actually harvesting or taking the fuel cell out of the lantern and they fit in a small Altoids tin um, so that's cool and as you can see it's still burning you can look at the uh, time clock on the video and see how long it actually that is burnt for I don't have a timer on me I also don't know how well this would have been a good a good experiment, but um, I didn't think of it at the time. I never used to file steel on one of these things. Usually when I go camping, I make sure to take plenty of matches or um, uh, a light oil with me. I'm very redundant in my fire making equipment. I usually uh, carry uh, a couple of light oils, um, a couple of boxes of matches, and a file steel, but I never actually use the file steel. But that's just a backup. Thing still giving off a good bit of flame. Pretty happy with it so far. Now if you're an expert at making file, 
and when I say export, I mean you're fairly comp competent in making a file, you can still use those anvils to store the file. Uh, so it's still a functioning piece of anvil that you can use. It's still ambering up a little bit. I say that was a good amount of bone. Okay, there it is. There is my, I want to call it the fi file tube. And all this is is lint and a cardboard uh, tube. And we'll see how this bones. Again, I'm using matches. I'm more of a match guy. Than anything. You can t tell and see that there was not as much as a flower up as with the Skyland on fuel cell, but still gives you adequate amount of flame. Let's see what how this uh, turns out. Like I said, I've never used this before, um, but um, it ought to be interesting nonetheless. Now we have lost flame, but it's still ambering up. I want to give it a little blow, see if, we'll, if I can breathe some more life back into it. Well, there you go. It gives you amble, but it's not going to sustain a flame for any long period of time compared to the um, sky lantern. Going to go ahead and give it an extra match. The lint inside the tube doesn't have a whole lot of oxygen flow going through it, so it's not flaring up. But um, let me move the camera. Looks like we're getting some boiling on the other side. But I'm thinking this is a pretty valuable um, option for anybody who just needs a cheap file startle. It's not going to be the uh, most efficient thing in the world, but uh, the common household has uh, these tubes and lint, so you can make yourself a file starter out of it. As you can see, it's not the best one, but um, like I said with the um, uh, 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 the lantern, uh, sky lanterns, uh, you don't need a flame to start a file, you just need an amble. Now, I prefer to have flame to start a file, like I said, 
uh, I'd rather uh, use matches, lytles, and lytle fluid to start a file than relying on a a, 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 a ferrocium rod. But if you need the to get the job done, this will definitely get the job done. I think that's enough. I'll go ahead and stop this out. Now let's turn our attention to the sky lanterns. I'm going to show you what, uh, what part of this lantern I actually use. Let's see, yeah, there we go. There was a sky lantern. If I remember correctly, this paper or this plastic has a seam on it that you can open it with. And I'm, there we go. Toss that. This is the lantern. And this is the fuel cell. And let's see if I can. And there you go. I know you can't see that that well, but that's the fuel cell. And it fits almost perfectly into one of these Altoids uh, tins. And uh, that's what I carry with me when I go camping. I'm a Satsu 5. I know this isn't the more one of the most entertaining videos in the world, but I hope you learned something from it. I'm Satsu 5, and I'm out.